The first strategy that I'd like us to review today, because we have done it in class, um, is counting back. And counting back is all about taking away, right? Uh, so we are going to use a number line to do counting back. And this is our first problem. So let me show you what to do. Using a ruler, we can start by drawing a number line. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to put the number 35, right? Okay, so this is my starting point. And now what I'm going to do is take away from 35, right? So what am I taking away from 35? That's right, I'm taking away 11, okay? Now, of course, some of you could do this easily in your head, right? But the problems that we'll be tackling later on aren't so, uh, as, aren't so straightforward as this, right? So let's have a look. 35, take away 11. Now, maybe someone might not be so confident at taking away 11. Well, that's fine, because in this strategy, you can take away parts of that number one bit at a time. All right. So one thing I am confident in doing is taking away 10. Because I know that if you take away 10, the 10's place changes, but the unit's place doesn't. So that's 25. So I've taken away 10. What more do I need to take away? That's right, I need to take away 1. Take away 1. And that leaves me with 24. And that, boys and girls, is the answer. I started with 35, and I took away 11, not all at once, I did it in parts, and I was left with 24. So the answer is 24. Let's do another one, slightly more difficult. Here we go. That's a little bit trickier. So let's start off, start off with a number line, just like we did before. Mine a little bit longer this time. Now, remember, counting back is all about taking away, right? So I'm taking 59 away from 142. So I'm going to put 142 on the right hand side. And now I'm going to take away 59. Now I am not confident to simply take away 59. So I'm going to break it up into parts. Okay. So what I can do is take away 40. Feel confident about that. And that leaves me with 102. So I've taken away 40. How much more do I need to take away? Well, I need to take away another 19. So let's take away 10. You might uh, want to count in your hands. 102. 101, 100, 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, 92. Okay, 92. That makes sense because if I take away 10, then my uh, units place doesn't change, does it? 92. Right, so I've taken away so far 40 and 10. So I've taken away 50. So all I need to do now is take away 9. Right, so if I take away 2, 
That leaves me with 90. Nice round number to work from. And now I just need to take away 7. So 90, take away 7, leaves me with 83. And that's the answer. I started with 142, and I took away 59 in steps, because I wasn't confident enough to take 59 away in one go, and I was left with 83. And that's my answer.